Today I will be explaining something made to you it be very interesting. I've taken upon me this task that at the end your understanding can spark. You see, in quality management, there's a concept under continuous improvement, a cycle called plan, do, check, act, introduced in the 1950s by W. Edward Deming just to keep you on track, often referred to as the Deming cycle or the Schuhart cycle just to add another title, where change and problem solving is at the heart of this concept created by Deming. Just four phases is what it involves, then repeat and repeat until your problems are resolved. Step 1. Start with plan. Identifying and analyzing your problems as best as you can. Establish the objectives and processes necessary to deliver results in accordance with the expected goals successfully. Tools like the five whys and the cause and effect diagram can be used for this so don't be alarmed. It helps you get to the root of the problem, like fixing an objective so don't be troubled. Just take your time and map out your points. Trust me, it won't disappoint. It simply acts like your guide for your uncertainty to subside. Do is your second step. Grab your text on page 293 and let us check. Here you develop and test a potential solution so your problems you can solve with absolution. In other words, for you to move forward, implement the plan and execute the process, maybe a pilot project can be used to test. Phase 3 is where you check. Now remember this, it may come on your test. Study your actual and expected results to ascertain any differences and with others you can consult. Let's repeat what I just said. Maybe you would understand this instead. Step 3. You measure how effective the solution was and improve it before you move along. Yes, you may have to revisit Step 2, where your solutions you may have to redo. This gives you a better chance to identify any problems that have been magnified. New ideas can be triggered, so make your changes and do not linger. Once you're finished, you can come back and check to further limit your mistakes you would regret. Last but not least is step number four. I really hope this poem is not a bore. Here is where you want to act. That, my friends, is a known fact. You want to implement your solution fully to ensure your processes does not end up in folly. The PDCA cycle doesn't stop there. If you want, you can go back to step one, I swear. This way, you can seek out areas of improvement, then you're one step closer to total quality management. This brings us to the end of our lesson. I hope for your exam, you won't be stressing. Just to be sure, just look at this picture. As simple as it is, it explains the PDCA structure.